spoken a friendship which leads to nothing. They divert us from a truth to which they could have led us. Actually, though, I felt that when I did need intervals of rest and companionship, one choice food I might have pinched off of my imagination, rather like the famous horse that was fed on nothing but roses, would be not the intellectual conversations with people in society that believe to be helpful to writers, but frivolous love affairs with girls in the first flush of youth. What I was suddenly wanting once again was what I had dreamt of at Valdeck, when, without knowing them at that stage, I had seen 